All right, so from time to time, I get some questions about what equipment I use for my videos, and we're gonna talk about that coming up. All right, thanks for hanging out with me this week. Hey, if you're a new agent or just thinking about getting into the real estate business, you may wanna hit that subscribe button down below because I talk about real estate every week. Now this week, I'm gonna answer a few questions that have been brought to my attention via email or messages or whatever. It's about what equipment do I use to do my video? And if you're a subscriber to this channel, you know I love video. I think video is is really a great way to kind of get your message across to your buyers and sellers and kind of brand yourself in your community. Now I've been making videos for a while and they are really actually my main source of income. Uh, I have people call me from all over because you gotta remember this, when you put your videos out there on places like YouTube, people are gonna Google. People are Googling, searching, for those areas. Remember this, think about this. Most of the time before someone decides they wanna buy a house in a particular neighborhood, they're, they're actually researching those neighborhoods. So they're not particularly searching a house, they're, they're researching the community. You've heard the, the old terminology, you know, location, location, location. Well, that's still true. They're looking at the location first and then they'll decide where they wanna, or what actual house they wanna live in. So videos about those communities those are key so what do i use to shoot my videos as most of you know i don't spend a lot of money on on equipment and i don't think you should spend a lot either now don't get me wrong those high-end cameras and all that stuff hey they're nice <laughs> and they have some really awesome quality but to start out you do not need that type of equipment and you don't need to spend a whole lot of money so for instance this video right here that we're shooting i'm using an iphone 11 so i can't show you that right now but just to let you know that's what i used uh to shoot my videos and i'm just using the the um, selfie mode camera on this and just kind of adjust the lighting i'm not using filmic pro or anything like that right now uh and then i have i'm using this mic right here this uh fine or five fine or I don't know how to pronounce it but I found it on on Amazon so uh, it's got it's like a little boom mic so pretty cool 70 something bucks so but that's not really what I'm talking about here I'm talking about what equipment I used to shoot like house tour videos or my community event videos and things like that and besides my phone the next important um, piece of equipment that I use is a tripod so right now I am currently using the uh, Amazon Basics uh, tripod. Uh, pretty easy to, to use up and down. It's got a little handle on there. Some of you have asked about you know the tripods and then holding with the camera. So it's got a little handle on here, not just to not just to carry around the tripod, but if you have your camera on there, you can kind of use it to to zoom in and out. Now, one thing you want to make sure that you have with this is the uh, iPhone or your or your mobile phone smartphone uh, adapter here. You want to make sure you, you're able to hold your phone on here, and it just you know just snaps right on top of there. So those those two pieces of equipment. This right here is super super important, super handy, and you know obviously extends out. And then this section right here will go up just to give you a little bit more extension. Yeah, so anyway, tripod, gotta have a tripod. Now the next thing that you, you want to have uh, is some kind of lapel microphone, shotgun mic, whatever. I have this, this pop voice lapel mic. I've had this for a few years now. I think I paid 12 to 15 bucks for it back in the day. I think they're around 17 bucks. Right now I'll put a link down below where you can find them on Amazon. But man, this this thing right here is really come in handy. You know, you just put it right here, uh, plug it into your smartphone or whatever you're using to record. Uh, if you are using a smartphone, you want to make sure you have one of these. I, I believe it's called a dongle. Um, you want to make sure you have one of those and adapt it right there. And then you just, you know, plug it into your phone and you are ready ready to go. Now the the cord on this one is not very long. I would say four and a half, five feet. 
So if you need uh, something a little bit longer than that, you can go out there and, and get you a cable. Just make sure that the cable adapters are compatible with mobile devices to make sure you don't get the wrong one there. So a little cable there, and that was really inexpensive, and I think that's probably about a, a 10 foot cable. So if I needed to be, you know, 10, 12 feet away from the, the camera and still hear my voice, that's what I use. Now, as I, as I mentioned, I have the iPhone 11 right here. So the iPhone 11, the reason why I have it and got it now is because you know you have the different cameras and now you have the, the wide angle. You gotta have those wide angles for some of those shots. Um, it just looks better. You can kind of see the room a little bit more, especially in those tight spaces like bathrooms and things like that. You can get the, the wider view so you can get the full effect of that particular room. Uh, and it has a little bit of a stabilizer built into the camera which is nice but before i had that i used this right here that is the moment lens this this right here this is my pride and joy i still i still love this thing now you have to get the the case with it as well uh, there's different cases you can get all black or you know there's different cases they they actually may make a ton of, of different devices and different lenses out there but this particular one hmm, yes one of my favorites right here now, talking about stabilization, it's always good to have some kind of gimbal. Uh, this one right here is the DJI uh, Osmo 2, and I think you can get them right now for 75, 60 bucks on Amazon. Uh, they have newer, newer uh, versions out right now, but man, if you're gonna, if you want those stable shots, you know this is this is something to to use right here. Uh, smooth silky smooth shots moving around you know making those those sweeping motions with your camera I mean keeps everything level uh, you can walk do do like a selfie mode with it it keeps keeps your eye on you and these right here you can actually put it on a tripod and if you do the app on your phone and then you can actually have it to where it actually tracks you so if you're moving around it'll actually actually track you now where I did have an issue uh, with this and using the uh, the moment lens was the weight of the moment lens so i had to actually get a counterweight from moment that would actually mount onto the the osmo gimbal so keep that in mind next is you know thinking about lighting i mean lighting is 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 important sound is important and video is is important uh, lighting kits i mean there's several different kits out there currently i'm using the limo studio soft box lighting kit and i usually use these when i'm sitting in my office kind of a studio style every now and again i'll take them i'll take them to do the the video shoot depending on the house if there's not enough lighting or anything like that also another little lighting kit that i that i purchased was this loom cube this little thing's awesome it travels in my travel bag with me so if i'm doing like a you know a, a zoom call or something like that from my laptop right up there I just put this on the back of it got some great lighting you can take this light and put it anywhere you know accent lights in the back whatever you want to use it but this loom cube cube uh little light right here is, is pretty awesome all right so that's it that's my list of tools that i recommend to you so make sure you have that that good quality camera whether it's your phone or or some other kind of uh, other kind of camera if you want to go out there and spend that kind of money make sure you have some good quality sound i hope this sound is is sounding okay to you right here uh, make sure you have some good lighting whether you're going to use natural lighting from a window source or something like that or if you're going to go out here and buy some soft lights or the loom cube make sure you got that some kind of stabilizer if you're doing those shots and you're moving around it always looks better if it's smooth and don't forget to check out those videos right there and hit that subscribe button where am i right here thanks for hanging out with me today if you have any questions shoot me a message down below See you next time.